Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. My name's Jen, and in today's video, we're going to be folding an origami Christmas stocking. I am using traditional origami paper for this because it is two-sided, and the reverse side will be the top of the stocking, and the side that's facing up will be the sock of the stocking. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is fold up a narrow strip somewhere in the vicinity of, if you're using standard origami paper, 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters or six inches by six inches, maybe a, a little bit around a centimeter. It, you, play, you can play around it with it. Depends on how wide you want the top of the stocking to be. Okay, so the only real key here is that it needs to be uniform across. So you're gonna line up the side edges with themselves and create a nice crease. Now turn the paper over and fold left to right or right to left, this edge to this edge. I'm turning because I like folding this way, but you'll notice that it's the edge that has the end of that trim there. Just like that. And if you open it up, it, see, it folds like a book with the trim at the bottom. Now if we turn it 90 degrees back to where I was folding it a moment ago. You can fold both edges into the middle. Once again, noticing that that little rectangle that we've created is on the right hand side and turn it around and now it's on the left hand side. We're going to bring it into the middle once again, lining it up beautifully. So come up to the edge, but don't go over the edge just like with many, many traditional folds. Okay, so with the edge to the right, we're going to fold in the two left-hand corners. So this edge here, the bottom section, is going to fold into the middle and make a triangle increase. And this edge at the top is going to fold into the middle, make a triangle and crease. Now the point is going to come in where these two triangles meet in the middle. And just like so, lining it up. This flat edge is going to fold all the way over to the edge and crease, just like so. Now the next part is actually going to establish the foot of the sock. So we're going to fold it back on itself so that the bottom of this previous triangle, where these flaps are, is going to line up with this edge that we've just created. This will help us to create the foot of the stocking. So bring it in, line up the corners with the corners, and create a crease. And momentarily, I'll show you on the back how that worked. See, the two line up, and the two line up just like so, making sure there's a nice straight line down the middle there. Now fold everything into the middle, like so, while holding on to this upper section, not the section that has the pleat, but the stuff on top of it, and holding on to the toe, but not going above that line, because all of this needs to move. I'm going to gently pull the toe away from the cuff until it can't go any further and then I'm going to crease. And what that does is creates the sock or the foot of the stocking. Isn't that remarkable? I love origami, <laughs> it's so fun. And it will just slide out and almost lock into place when you press it down to create a crease. Okay, now the only thing left to do is lock that in place so that it doesn't move and then you can use it as a an ornament or on a card. And you're going to do that by opening up the back, lifting up the stocking cuff and sliding one end, or is sliding the other end underneath the cuff to lock it into place. And then pressing down. And what that'll do is just keeps it from taking off on you. Okay, so once everything is uh, put into position. You could put a little bit of adhesive here to tack it down before you turn it into an ornament or as I said put it on a card. Then you put a little 
string or ribbon through here and now you have an ornament for your Christmas tree. Or even, oh, this would make an amazing gift tag for a, for a Christmas present. Oh, definitely worth trying that. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That is one traditional Christmas stocking, origami style, and uh, I hope you give it a try. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I have a lot more tutorials and things where this came from. Don't forget, I'm at Origami Twist on Instagram as well, and uh, we'll see you again soon with another video. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.